Hey guys, welcome to Make Vidya. In this video, we will learn about the drive mechanism used in a drilling machine. Drive mechanism is basically used to rotate the drill spindle. Okay, so the first part of the machine is the base. Just over the base lies the column of the machine. The work table is mounted on an arm fixed to the column. Just above the work table lies another arm to hold the spindle arrangement where the drill bit will be fixed. Now the main part of the video begins. Uh, on the right hand side you can see a step pulley mounted on a shaft and there are fast and loose pulleys attached to the shaft. A fast pulley basically rot rotates along with the shaft and transmits the motion when connected by a belt whereas a loose pulley is used when we don't want to transmit any motion. It is actually of a bigger diameter and moves independently with the shaft. Anyways, uh, now a belt is connected to the stepped cone pulley which is uh, which is again connected to another stepped cone pulley above uh, which is fitted to an overhead shaft 4. So when the pulley 1 rotates this motion gets trans transmitted to, to the overhead shaft 4 through the belt. Now the shaft 4 is connected to a bevel gear 5. So any rotation in the shaft 4 will also cause this uh, bevel, gears, uh, bevel gears 5 to rotate. Now connected to the bevel gear is our drill spindle. So the spindle will rotate due to this rotation of the bevel gears. And this is how we rotate the drill bit through the spindle and finally carry out the drilling operation. So to summarize, first the bottom shaft rotates which in turn rotates the overhead shaft 4. This in turn rotates the drill spindle through the bevel gears and finally the drilling is done on a workpiece. Now we can increase the speed ranges if we employ back gears in the machine. So what are these back gears? These are nothing but a series of four gears which transmits motion among themselves. Everything is same, just a small difference. Just focus here. What we have done is we have replaced the overhead shaft 3 with two hollow shaft 4 and S. Let me show this one by one. First, we have the hollow shaft 4 then the hollow shaft S is introduced and there is a provision of connecting as well as disconnecting these two shafts with each other with the help of a clutch handle. This is the clutch. Ok, now the gears Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4 are introduced. The gears Z2 and Z3 are connected to each other by a sleeve. Now to activate these back gears, we will take the clutch handle to the right hand side. To the right side. Now see there is no connection between the two hollow shafts. So the bottom shaft rotates and through the belt and cone pulleys this motion gets transmitted up and rotates uh, the hollow shaft 4. The gear Z1 connected to it starts rotating. As a result the gear Z2 which is in uh, contact with Z1 it also starts rotating. Now gear Z2 and Z3 are again connected to each other by a sleeve. So Z3 will also rotate due to the rotation of Z2. Finally Z4 rotates as it is connected to the Z3 and the gear uh, Z3 uh, sorry the, the gear Z4 rotates the hollow spindle S. This in turn rotates the bevel gears which in turn rotates the spindle of the drill. Now if I do not want to use the back gears, simply what I will do is I will take the clutch handle to the left. This will disengage the gears Z2 and Z3 from Z1 and Z4. So the gears will now have no effect in the motion transmission. The shafts 4 and S are directly connected and can rotate the bevel gears 5 which will then rotate the spindle 6. Different speeds can be obtained by shifting the belt from one step to the other. Thus. Four different speeds can be obtained with back gears in as well as four different speeds can be achieved by back gears out. So total we are getting eight different speeds on the on this machine. So this was all about the drive mechanism in drilling machine. If you have any doubts just go back um, to the uh, part of the video where you, you have the doubt and watch again. Thank you.